the picture because I want to see the fucking. He's got some nonsense glued on his head. That's like not his hair. He has a toupee. Look at that. Look at that. See, his, his hair moved up, and someone had to tell him. Says, so "Oh." Oh snap! <laughs> oh, LeBron, what is going on with that? Oh, thanks, bro. So you get the the bandana back in place. His hair moved. Wait, why did he? Yeah, he's that... got some shit glued on his head. <laughs> bro. FYF Sports, man. It's Lamont, man. We back with another reaction video man and, and the reason why i'm reacting to this video man and i haven't seen this clip yet but i know it's gonna be something silly but the main reason why i'm reacting to this video is because i saw some i saw some i don't know who he was i, I honestly don't know who he was i don't know his name i saw some dude he was reacting to another youtuber um by the name of ticket tv he he was highly upset with Ticket TV because Ticket TV uh, did a, a live show talking about LeBron James's hair, man. Saying, hey, Ticket was basically saying, LeBron, you need to do something with that hair, man. You got too much money to have your hair out there looking like my hair. I mean, I got an excuse, man. I ain't got I ain't got a billion in the bank, so I mean, I can't go buy the hair plugs and you know, whatnot to fix all this up. I just gotta live with it. I honestly don't care. I get roasted all the time. You know, James, James and LB get to roasting me all the time. I'm fine with it. I'm good with it. Well, when you, when you LeBron James, man, that, there, it's been so many different types of pictures. It's hard to tell what's fake, what's not. But I know my man, it, I, one thing I know that this guy was highly upset with Ticket TV for just talking about LeBron's hairline. But then, you know, even when I heard Ticket talking about it, I even said, come on, man. Now we nitpicking on LeBron, man. Let's stop picking at the man on his hairline, man. But now we see, I, I saw this. I said, Joe Rogan's talking about LeBron James' hairline. Joe, hold on. Joe Rogan has like 5 million subscribers. So if Joe Rogan can talk about LeBron James' hairline, it got to be something. Ticket, Ticket must have seen something. Ticket must have seen something. TicketTV.com. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Ticket TV Media. Go subscribe to his channel. But for him to do a whole episode on LeBron James' hair, he had to have seen something so grotesque that uh, he said this needs to be addressed immediately. So again, now that Joe Rogan's talking about it, I have to now I have to I have to really do a deep dive and research what's going on with LeBron James' hair. Well, everybody keeps talking about it. And as you can see by the title of the video, that's what caught my eye. It says LeBron James' hair mishap. Shave your head. I, and the man had a hair mishap. Now, we all saw the picture of LeBron James's daughter playing with his hair, pulling his hair up in certain spots, just the hair looking crazy. But I, but from what I saw in the description of the video, LeBron James had a mishap in game. And I ain't never seen this. I don't know how. I'm watching sports. And, and again, I didn't even see this. ESPN usually would cover this, but nobody covered it. So now we about to see what's going on with this hair mishap of lebron james i want to hear what joe rogan has to say about it before we get started make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit the notification bell again if you already subscribed to joe rogan podcast fine he has a, a trillion subscribers if you haven't make sure you go check him out the man that guy the, the guy does some epic podcasts i love his take on everything so you know i respect his take on a lot of stuff because he has a very very honest approach just like fyf sports um, so that's why I really had to consider this. But again, I'm not even, he's not the first one to do this. I got to give Ticket TV his credit. Ticket TV was the first one to dedicate an episode to this. He did it before Joe Rogan. So I got to give him his credit for this, especially if Joe Rogan can produce some evidence of this hair mishap in game. If I can, if I can see this, man, this is going to be incredible right here. So we're going to go ahead and get to the video right now. Tell, did you see what happened in the game when LeBron's hair fell off? Somebody showed me a photo, but I thought that looked so... F was Bro, that real? No, it's real. Look, the guy is a fucking billionaire. Yeah. He's a, a god amongst men. Yeah. He's a giant super athlete with a really well-shaped head. What That's the true. fuck, man? Shave your head, bud. Shave your goddamn head. Just fill up that... Now, Joe Rogan's going bald. Joe Rogan's a millionaire as well. Now, this had to be an incredible mishap, man. To where you have people immediately saying shave your head to this degree it has to be an incredible mishap please do not show me just some little well i mean it has to be some 
if somebody just lined them up wrong and pushed his line back like they pushed mine back, that's not that's not too bad. You don't have to go all out and start shaving because of that. A picture, because I want to see the fuck it. I He's think got some nonsense glued on his head. That's like not his hair. He has a toupee. Look at that. Look at that. Holy see his, his hair moved up, and someone had to tell him. So they're oh. Oh snap. <laughs> Oh, LeBron, what is going on with that? Is that real, man? That can't be real. Now, I know Joe Rogan's not going to put fake footage out there. I know he's not going to put fake footage out there. If it happened in the game, I got to go with it. I'm still going to have to do my research on it. But LeBron James, man, LeBron James, if if this is true, if this did happen in game, um, it's, it's the duty of all men in the U.S. to be straight up and real with you and let you know that it's time to let it go. Because even if you got to resort to the fake hair, man, you got so much money where you don't have to glue stuff on your hair. LeBron James can go afford the implants, the, the permanent joints. So if he playing around just gluing stuff to his head, he bullshit. He got too much money. He should have been got the implants, got the permanent line sewn into his head. And he's solid for life. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to research this, man. The picture look kind of funny. But LeBron James, your hairline pushed itself back. I, I it's it took it took a bad barber to push mine back like that. Yours is getting pushed back cuz the glue coming undone. Oh, thanks, bro. So you get the the bandana back in place. His hair moved. Wait, why did he? Yeah, he's that? got some shit glued on his head. <laughs> bro, the guy he's handsome. He's a superior physical specimen. LeBron's it... hair falls out during game. <laughs> oh god, go <laughs> full screen. Jamie, go full screen. <laughs> Anthony Davis is telling him, hey, dog, your hair's up. Your hair fell off, dog. Oh, he did tell him. Yeah. Hey. hey. Oh, he's pointing he to someone's up with your hair. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, if you're my editor, man, and you're editing this video, please pull up that picture, man, and put it on the screen so people can see up close and personal what's going on with LeBron James' hairline, man. And I apologize, Ticket TV, man, because I ain't never seen this, man. LeBron definitely does deserve to get criticized for walking around, man, trying to use super glue on his hair, man. LeBron, you don't have to use super glue, man. They got implants now, man. You can get it permanently lasered into your head, man. Unless your, unless your hairline's just that bad where... The laser won't work. And it, it might be time to go ahead and let that John go. Are they friends? Yeah. He's yeah. the only guy. That's what I was telling you. He's the only guy on the team that could probably tell him that. Anybody else would get traded immediately. Probably. Look at him. He's fucking with his hair. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And that, last night, he didn't have the headband Hatting on. He down. had somebody fix it up nice. Oh, God. He did have the headband on? No, did not last night. Look, look at his... That's nonsense. What's going on with his hair? Hey. Hey, something <laughs> wrong with your hair. Yo, dog. He's <laughs> laughing. Yo, dog. Gotta fix that. Just so weird. Like, why would? Why does he want to deal with that? You know what it is? Because he hasn't accepted it yet. <laughs> yeah. But also, he's still young. He's 35. 35. Ever. <laughs> yeah, no, but in his mind, he's like, I got to still be the young guy, you know? Yeah, but shave your fucking That's head. That's like John Cena grew his hair out now. I saw him on a fucking billboard, and oh, he has long man. hair. He always had, like, short military cut, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know what, Joe Rogan? You right, man. Joe Rogan is 100% right on this one, you guys, man. Make sure you get... Hey, you see it on the screen right here, man. Hey, Joe Rogan, man. He he, he, he ain't no... Like I said, I can, I can trust him. He has so many subscribers, he can't put out fake news. He can't really, really put out fake news. Ticket TV said it first. Ticket TV... Tick, I thought Ticket was joking when he said... Ticket TV media actually made this report first. I said, what's the big deal on, on LeBron James' head? He said, the man's hairline can't... <laughs> 
<laughs> he said the man's hairline came off in a game, and I didn't believe him. It was so unbelievable that I didn't even go bother looking it up, man. And Joe Rogan put the picture up live. Man, my editor is going to put the picture up. He's going to put the picture on the screen. It might be some video that we can play to this, man. But please, LeBron James, man, you got to do something with that. Do something more permanent because now we know what's going on with your hair. Because I, I, I remember one time LeBron's barber was talking about, no, he doesn't use Beijing. He don't have implants, none of that. But then all of a sudden, the man's whole hairline is getting folded back in the middle of a basketball game. Oh, man. These videos, man. These reaction videos are silly as hell. LeBron James, man, please do something with your hairline, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for the for the idiot who keeps saying that that's, that's um, for, there, there, there's a there's a, uh, a dude with like 16 subscribers running around hating on Take Your TV, saying some goofy stuff. Look, man, I don't agree everything he says about LeBron James, but now after seeing this video, I have to agree now. Man, so you, you, like I said, man, you just wanted them dudes. Hey, dude, who, dude who's talking crazy about Ticket TV, he wanted them dudes to just let it, let his homie walk around with a booger hanging out his nose and not say nothing to him. I'm like, why ain't you saying nothing to your homie for having that booger in your nose, man? That's that. I ain't, I ain't with that, man. I, that's a, that's him. No, man. If you, if you, if you, if, if, if somebody is looking crazy and you cool with them or you respect them. Man, let them know. It ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what we need more of in this world today. That's why we got so many problems in the hood today right now. People just don't know how to say nothing to their own homies. It's too many yes men. So, man, you know, take what's right on this one, man. Sometimes you just got to call it out. That's not, it's not homophobic or none of that right there. That's just being real with somebody. It's time to let it go. LeBron just got too many yes men around him. Somebody want somebody in his camp is going to have to be real with him and say, it's time to let that thing go. You know, because he might not take it the same as if, if, if one of us tell him, we don't really know him, he gonna take that as shade, man. Nah, one of his, one of his own has to tell him that, man. But I hope you guys liked the video, man. Halfway up sports, man. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. We grinding to 100K, man. We grinding to 100K. We not selling for 50K, 40K, none of that, man. We grinding to 100K. Nothing else will be accepted. We need that YouTube plaque hanging up on our wall right back here. Again, along with that plaque, we need some of you subscribers to start activating, right? Activating, getting getting all, getting, getting your business information put up on, for FYF. Again, you need to buy in on FYF Sports while it's cheap now because when we blow up, I'm not giving you guys no break on the price. I'm not giving you guys no break on the price because, again, I've given all you, all you, all you supporters, anybody who wants to uh, support the show, I've given you every ample opportunity to sign on now and be a part of this movement. FYF Sports, though, appreciate all the subscribers. Make sure you comment. All right, let us know what you think about LeBron James' hairline. I just think it was kind of funny. But at the end of the day, we just got to be real with him. Joe Rogan told him, man, it's time to let it go, man. Or or just do something. I know it's a lot of treatments out there. Just do something a little bit more permanent so your hair ain't coming off in the middle of the game, man. FYF Sports. All right, we out.